During the holidays, we went to this Code Like a Girl program. It was a very exciting program. I never knew that before you type in something on Google, it has to go through so much processes and, and websites and whatever. Because Vodacom is part of the Vodafone group, it is a global project. What I then did is to make sure that the program then looks at our scarce skill in technology and try and bridge the gap between what we're currently facing in transformation targets versus the people that we will then get as part of the project. Our learners have been motivated to do maths and science in order for them to further their studies in the careers of their choice. Since in our country we are looking for skilled people and maths and science are the key subjects that could open the path for careers for our learners. The program was very nice, we really learned a lot. It was very, very, very educative. Um, I took place in um, the competition and then uh, came out in position one. I uh, got this tablet and it has helped me, it has helped me a lot because uh, it has this eSchool Vodacom app which you know I used to revise. We had to create our own website whereby it has pictures and all these things that I needed. I enjoyed doing the coding, so now I have second thoughts. I want to do ICT because I enjoy it. Well, one of those girls who were chosen to participate in the program in Vodacom World. Yes, I was in Vodacom World. We were participating, doing coding. I won and I won third prize. I won a book and a diary. After the program, most of the girls felt like metric was far. Even though they're in grade 11, others are in grade 10. They got so excited. Some of them were even calling themselves uh, coders and they know that they're going to do computer sciences and stuff like that. It's simply because of, of the program. And is to replicate the program as big as possible. Not only looking at the 20 girls, but probably, you know, going out and having an African footprint so that we're not only turning technology around in the South African context, but looking at the African context as well.